What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Sid coming in with another video. So uh, as you can see in the title, we're gonna be installing the GSS uh, Luna One Piece drive shaft. Uh, this is on a uh, manual car, uh, M282 six speed. So uh, we're just gonna kind of jump into it for all my new viewers, people that's watching, go hit that subscribe button, like this video. Uh, I haven't seen too many uh, videos of people installing these. I see a lot of videos on YouTube of people installing on autos, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this install. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all the tools ready so I can let y'all know what tools y'all might need, what tools to get. Uh, make sure you have some blue Loctite uh, so we can uh, put on them bolts because we don't want nothing backing off. And uh, like I said, appreciate y'all tuning in, staying locked in. So let's go ahead and jump into this and get this shit started. All right, guys. So now I got all the sockets that you're gonna need. You're gonna need 18, 15. These are for the front bolts. They go to the transmission and then you need a 10 to go to the diff. And then this is for the carrier. Those are 13s. So I'm gonna get the camera set up down there so we can get the stock draft shop out, off. And then when we get ready to install the one piece, we're gonna have to change up uh, some bolts and then change the socket size because we're gonna be using these for some of the hardware that they have that come with it. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. Enough of me talking. So let's go. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start getting these bolts off right here. So as y'all can see, I had not worked the drive shaft a while back when I took it off. So. Go grab my handy. All right, guys, as you can see, got the one piece, one piece on the left and your stock drive shaft on the right. So pulling off, not too bad. A uh, little pain in the butt to uh, hold the camera and get the camera situated so I can give y'all the best angles of how I'm pulling this off. So 
If it sounds like I'm a little bit out of breath, yeah, because I need to get a lift. But, uh, all right, so what we're going to do is, uh, I've seen in one video where a guy went ahead and installed that on the transmission. But well, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and install it on there. So basically, I'm going to take this and put it on here already. That way, uh, I can uh, go ahead and install it all together instead of trying to put it up there one, at a, one piece at a time. So I'll go ahead and get this out and get this set up. So, all right, let me uh, get these bolts out, get this stuff set up so we can get ready, put the adapter on the drop shaft. All right, stick with me. All right, y'all, so if you don't know, this drive shaft right here, the stock one, weighs about 33 pounds altogether. This one, uh, just DSS, aluminum drive shaft weighs 22 pounds with the adapter plate that I installed on the car already. So a little bit of weight savings, you know, everything counts, so. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this right quick. So, let's go. All right, so grab your adapter plate and get it up there. Said I was gonna put it on the drive shaft first, but, but we're gonna have to do it this way, so. And then what you're gonna wanna do is grab some Loctite Put on your bolts first. Insert them here, here, and here. So, give me a second. And let me get these in there. All right, so I went ahead and tighten these up off camera. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna install your nut on the back of this. So this is a 19. So just reach behind there. All right, y'all, so got all the nuts and bolts tightened. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this to 77 foot-pounds. And uh, I'm gonna try to do this and hold the camera at the same time, but probably won't work out good. So probably gonna have to sit this down somewhere. And uh, see if I can.
Oops. Hit the camera. Sorry, cameraman. So this is your, your Barton shifter, which is on the body mount. So if y'all guys wanted to run a drive shaft loop and y'all was running it on the trans mount, well, this would come off right here, back down to this. You have to remove all that and attach it right here and then rest all this. Uh, seen in the video. A little pain in the butt, but there it is. But I'm gonna put that facing down. So, all right, guys. All right, y'all. What's going on? So, got my son right here. Gonna help me do a little bit of recording. Say hi, Jeremiah. Say hi. He look camera shy. So, but uh. We're gonna finish this install. Uh, we're gonna get this drive shaft back on here and uh, get to it. All right, y'all. So, if you don't know, this drive shaft right here, the stock one, weighs about 33 pounds all together. This one, uh, this DSS aluminum drive shaft, weighs 22 pounds with the adapter plate that I installed on the car already. So a little bit of weight savings, you know, everything counts. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into this right quick. So let's go. All right, so let me grab this. Daddy, what, why is there a timer? Because it's recording. So. What's up guys? Uh, My dad. I'm recording today. Yes, you recorded today, so. Uh, I'm gonna say hi. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so. What happened? Daddy, hurry up. The yes, going sir. On. Hey, hey, my bosses don't even rush me at work, so don't start rushing me, all right? Okay, I'm not rushing you. Okay. Daddy. What? The time's almost up. All right, let me slide these out. It's like... All right, hit the... Oh, no, Daddy. Hit this button. Look, I'm piping! All right, y'all, so... Yeesh. We got the drive shaft in. We had to take this one collector pipe off so that we can slide the drive shaft forward first to get that side now in back there the no not yet baby so right now i got my son what's up 
we out here in the garage, you know, doing what we do. So he just being helped right now. So we just trying to get these in there. And then I jump to the back. So these are 16. This is a a grade. Let me see what grade Green that level. is. Okay, to the grade. Grade eight boot. But uh, change the bolts right here. So just a little What's insight. Talk to some people out there, and they said that some of the bolts uh, tend to back off. So just pick you up some grade eight hardened bolts, put some Loctite on them, and torque them down. Seventy seven. And then, uh, like daddy, I said, these back here. Your battery's on 38. Will be torqued down to 57. So, and uh, add Loctite. Uh, daddy, so, we're going to get these the all snugged up. Daddy. And then we'll jump to the back and get those in place. And then we'll reel them in and torque them down. All right. All right. So, I already got Loctite on these bolts right here that we inserting in right here. Keep rotating. Or lock tight. Now we have enough. Daddy, this is my room. Jeremiah room. Mm -hmm. So those right there. So like I said, 57 foot pounds for the rear, 77 for the front. Go. Yeah, go ahead. So let's put this back up there. You scared me. Don't be scared. You ain't gotta be scared. Just put it up there. And get them tight like that, okay? Okay. I'm gonna put it on there for free. Take it off. All right. Take it off. Go, go. All right, all right, all right. Slow down. Okay. All right. Let me rotate. Well, you can rotate that thing. Mhm. Mm all right. Go. Go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's how I, that's how I go? Mm-hmm. All right. Take it off. Go oh. to the other one. See, back in the day, Jeremiah, they wouldn't let us use other tools. They'd make us use hand, hand tight everything first. all of them good job buddy good job okay yeah. so, so now that we got all the boats tight got my helper out help me out what we'll do is uh we'll jump over and why is batman hanging for his son and my son <laughs> decided to quit batman, batman over here <laughs> batman over here helping too i guess all right, so we're gonna get the torque wrench set up and uh, get these real ones torqued down and then we'll jump to over there. But like I said, y'all, um, nothing to it but to do it. Let me change back you know, Let's keep going. All right, so we're gonna get these torqued down. Torque down. I 
think Batman wants to go in the pipe. Looking out the pipe. Since I don't got nobody helping me hold it. Okay, Batman's looking up there. Batman looking up there. Oh, over right there. Check it out. The other one. Oh god. Okay. I got the perfect spot for Batman to I need you to look in that. Yeah, ma. What? Come here. I'm coming! Yeah. Drive seat. Get up there. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, relax, okay? All right, push, push it down. Or you need, you need help. You need help? All right, pull the e-break up. Got it? Okay. All right, good job. I did it. Yes, you did. You did it. work on your your hand strength
sorry guys. So all I'm tied to 57 foot pounds. Torque. Let's jump to the front. Well, these a little bit be a little bit harder. Cause the if you notice the angle where the shoulder is right here, where the shoulder is the boat, gonna be hard for me to get on. So probably what I'll end up doing is do this off camera. That way I can get some other stuff squared away right quick. But uh we'll knock this out right quick. All right, y'all, so we got the car all buttoned up, exhaust back on, dry shaft in. Uh, went and picked up a few items from Summit this morning. So been on the go this morning. We gotta get the car back down on off the jack stands. But uh, show y'all what we got here in just a sec. All right, y'all, so exhaust is back in. As you can see, towards the lift, missing the exhaust hanger. Uh, exhaust decided that it was going to come off one day and I broke a exhaust hanger so got to get that welded back up but it ain't going nowhere got my front skinnies my tires they are 27 by 5 17's this is a blast ply tire and then as you know I already have these these are my S71 wheels on a 28 by 11 and a half uh, bias plier. And then, if you don't know what that is, I'll reveal that in another video. But um, I'm gonna, should be getting my wheels back sometime either today or Monday. Get these mounted, then I'll show you what it looked like with full drag pack on. And we're gonna get this down so we can take a test drive and do a couple of pulls to see what it feels like see if i got any vibration from the drive shaft or anything but um stay tuned uh continue to uh watch the channel support your boy leave a comment uh you got any questions on anything feel free to drop a comment like subscribe Stay tuned. I'll let you boy.